The resurrection of the Ford Bronco is pretty big news. In fact, it's probably the most anticipated vehicle of this year. But this isn't it. This is the Bronco Sport, and consider this the prequel, the kid brother to the, the full fat Bronco that shows up later this year. This model here is the Badlands, which is a top tier. It's got all the off-road duties on it. And while the big Bronco will be targeting the Jeep Wrangler, obviously, this one is more going up against the Jeep Compass, Jeep Cherokee, and possibly the Jeep Renegade. So today we're going to throw some bad lands at the Badlands and see how it fares. Built on the Ford Escape platform, the Bronco Sport comes in four flavors. The base, Big Ben, Outer Banks, and this Badlands, with prices ranging from $32,199 to 40199 for this one. Being a press car, this specimen is fully loaded. The $850 Co-Pilot 360 Assist Plus adds a full suite of safety and driver's aids, while the $3,000 Badlands package gives dual zone climate control, reverse sensing, sunroof, 10 speaker bang and all of an audio, HD radio and wireless charging. With a $600 class 2 tow package, the Badlands will pull up to 2,200 pounds. Ford has thrown a whack of engineering at the Badlands. No badge engineered poser here. It gets 8.8 .8 inches of ground clearance, aggressive approach and departure angles, skid plates and standard 28.5 inch all-terrain tires. Unique to the Badlands are off-road tune dampers and a twin clutch rear drive unit with a differential lock. Softer springs and anti-roll bars offer greater articulation over obstacles, a best in class 7.4 inches. And if you like to splash in puddles, this Ford will ford water up to two feet deep. The Bronco Sports terrain management system is dubbed GOAT. It stands for goes over any type of terrain. And the Badlands gets two additional settings, mud ruts and rock crawl on top of the standard normal eco sport slippery and sand. Okay, well, there's a lot of off-road technology in this little little guy here and we're going to use it. So I'm going to select mud and ruts because ahead of me is a lot of muck and some very deep ruts. So let's go see what this little guy can do. We do have winter tires on here, but they're quite uh, substantial. And I am going through some really deep in fact, I'm hitting the skid plates on this, but it's like, it's nothing. We are just flying through this stuff, no problem at all. Well, the Badlands shrugged off this bit of mild off-roading with ease, but perhaps a more important question to most who are buying this tough guy Badlands, mainly for the image, is how is it as a day-to-day -day driver? Well, it's pretty nice, I have to say. There's a premium solidity to this trucklet, reflected in its poise and gentle refinement. The interior in this top trim tester is attractive, with its brown leather bits. The front buckets are comfy and supportive and all the analog controls work with satisfying precision. Plus there are plenty of soft touches in here. Even the hard plastic bits avoid the dreaded cheap sheen. Yep. Ford's SYNC 3 interface here with an 8 inch touchscreen is one of the better of this ilk showing a clear menu structure and obedient voice control. While the Bronco Sport's wheelbase is shorter than the Ford Escapes, the upright seating position and a high roof line give the cabin a real sense of space. Rear seat legroom is pretty good for this class and visibility from all perches is panoramic. The view over the hood with its blocky bulges just makes you want to head out for the boonies. Lag from the 2 liter turbo 4 is negligible and the 8 speed auto shifts smoothly yet also delivers snappy kickdowns. The Badlands is the only Bronco Sport to get paddle shifters. Yeah, the steering could use some more feel, but overall it feels nimble and handles pretty well, even on these big old winter tires. I expect the other less off-roady Bronco Sport variants will have better on-road manners, but they don't get the Badlands more powerful engine. There's a lot of funky fun and functionality baked into the Bronco Sport. The rear window opens independently of the hatch, and with said hatch raised, you'll find an overhead LED light and a bottle opener tucked in the opening. The cargo area is lined with hose down rubberized material and there's a 110 outlet for powering all your lifestyle accessories. Being fresh on the automotive landscape, a lot of people notice my little blue cube here and more often than not they asked, is this the Bronco? Well, for now it is. And this one here at about $45,000 is the most you can spend and it is the Bronco Sport Badlands which actually does have a lot of off-road chops. For driving.ca, I'm Peter Blakey and for more SUV reviews and information, don't forget to follow us online, Instagram and Twitter.